Hello guys. Here I have someone who wanted to do this interview for you guys to share what he thinks now about crab walking and wall shooting. His identity will be anonymous for obvious reasons, but we'll call him Tatata -ta -ta as his code name. So yeah, how you doing today, Tatata? -ta -ta? Doing good, sir. Glad to be here. How did you start crab walking and wall shooting? I'm pretty much like everyone else. I would see others do it. I watched some uh, tutorials made by some uh, YouTubers who were promoting it. Other YouTubers would make amazing comebacks while crab walking and get lots of praise for it. I wanted to be like them. I, I wanted to feel what they felt when they were crab walking. I wanted to feel like a god. So how did you feel about crab walking back then? I at the time I felt like I was on top of the world. I felt like I was untouchable, as if nobody could fuck with me. I could take on a whole team all by myself and feel so proud. Go from one end of the map to the other side, lightning fast by crab walking and shoot anyone I see through the walls. I was fully enjoying myself at the moment, you know? And what weapon did you use? The burst rifle, sir. Burst rifle? Yes. Burst. 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 Okay. So, how did you start feeling bad about what you were doing? Well, even though I enjoyed it at the time and all, deep inside, I, I always knew what I did was wrong. But the more I did it, the more I wanted to do it. I was kind of like addicted to it, you know? Yeah, I see. It's like a drug. It made you feel really good about yourself. Wow, that's crazy. Crab walking and wall shooting changed my life. It, it made me care less about the feelings of others. I lost my friends because I was always crab walking and shooting through walls. Nobody wanted to play with me anymore. Mm -hmm. All my good friends deleted me. And it made me start questioning myself. I understand. So what was the uh, final blow to you? What made you stop? Well, besides the fact that it was affecting my friendship with others, Mm -hmm. I also noticed that I was slowly turning into this toxic asshole. But the real blow to me was when I noticed, um... I I'm really sorry, I'm embarrassed to say this, but my PP was getting smaller and smaller. I have been crab walking and wall shooting for years now. I Now I'm working with a wee wee little bigger than a peanut. It devastated my life. I, I wish I could go back and change everything, but it's too late. W what's done is done. Live and learn, you know? I see what you mean. And what else would you like to tell people who are still crab walking right now? Don't do what I did. Don't shrink your wee wee, guys. It's not worth it. Th those guys you watch on YouTube doing all this crab walking glitch and wall shooting and stuff. Ugh, look at me. Look how I crab walk. Get good. Get good, bro. They're not your friends. They, they most likely suffer from the same condition that I'm in now. Although we may seem godly within the game, people who crab walk and wall shoot are really lonely, sad, depressed, and needy. Wow, okay. Like I said, crab walking is like a drug. We're like drug addicts. We, we don't know how our lives will be affected by it until it really happens. I'm really doing this interview to save your mental health, your social life with your family and your friends, and your wee wee. Please don't do what I did. Ta ta ta, thank you for coming on my show. You're welcome, Joker.